Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Advanced Labs Micro Blocks. So you can see this work in front of me, it's a really cool plugin which has two main features. So the first one is you can make um, any block any height. So here is a normal glowstone block and I have made a slightly smaller one here and you can do this with any block, it's a really cool um, system the way you do it. And over here you can see I have made a little path and this glowstone block is just um, going round at uh, a speed which you can set. So it's quite complicated to set up but once you know how to do it it's pretty easy and then you obviously have to power it. So um, yeah it's really cool, it's a bit like redstone. Uh, you can turn it on and off, uh, maybe hook it up to a pressure pad or button or something um, like that. So what we're going to do first is use um, this. So I'm going to put down a lapis block. I'm going to put down two of them actually. Get rid of these. And we are going to use an editor wand. How do we get that? Well, you can craft it using this recipe. So um, let's just do that now. One diamond at the top, two redstone either side, and two sticks below. That will give you the editor wand. And if you see the law, right click to edit, shift right click to remove, left click to stop editing. So what you're going to want to do is uh, obviously shift, right click to begin with, that will drop the block, place it down again, uh, there we go, and we will then uh, have to right click and it says you are now editing this block. So if you use your scroll wheel you will see lots of coordinates popping up in the chat and you can move the, the block um, left to right, up and down which is really cool. So that is how I made the block even smaller. So uh, you can actually put it anywhere. So we are going to make it really, really tiny. If I keep scrolling down, it might disappear. There we go. Let's push it along a bit so it's next to this one. If you had a lot of time, you could make a house doing this, but it would take a long time. But uh, it would look really cool at the end. So let's go down a bit more. We need to go this way and then this way. And there we go. So um, once you've done that, left click you are no longer editing and it's basically a normal block you can jump on it um, like that and it just looks really awesome so that is the first half of the plugin which is pretty straightforward now let's get on to the second half which is this part slightly more complicated so um, let's go into that now so we need to create ourselves a brand new wand if we look in the chest it's the recipe on the right so if you pop a lead in the middle of the crafting bench, surround it by diamonds and fill in the blank spots with redstone. This will give you your path wand. So um, I've got one here and what we're going to want to do is shift left click the old path and that is how you remove uh, the path. So uh, we're going to want to create a brand new one. I've put some diamond blocks around here in a weird shape. So uh, if you shift right click um, it will make the path so you can see there the green symbolizes the start red obviously the end and blue the checkpoints in between kind of like a parkour plugin really um, then we're going to want to pop down a slab so I've chosen this and we are going to want to right click it with the path one to bind it to the path once you've done that you can edit a couple of things so the first thing to edit is the type of movement. So if you hold shift and hit Q uh, a couple of times, you'll see there are various different types. So um, you can see which ones there are. We are going to go with the circular switch, I believe. Um, I think that is the best one. So obviously we need redstone or a lever to power it. Um, and the other thing we need to do is set the speed. So hold shift and use your scroll wheel. So this is choosing how many blocks it goes per tick. So keep on scrolling up and we could um, get it higher. So 0 0.1 blocks per tick. Let's get it a bit higher than that. Let's get it to maybe 0 0.2 blocks. Uh, a bit higher, there we go. So all you need to do now is just shift left click to no longer edit the path, fly over here pop down a redstone block or lever or something, turn it on and it will follow the path like that. Obviously uh, this is a bit messy, you'd want to uh, make sure you do these separately so they don't interfere. And um, there we go, it's travelling around which looks really cool. 
Um, I could imagine maybe a Halloween themed um, version of this where you just put a pumpkin going around or jack-o'-lantern flying around spawn or something. I don't know, that'd be quite funny. But uh, yeah, you can make cool staircases and walls of buildings using this, uh, which is a cool method. And obviously you can make blocks travel around in a certain path with lots of different movements and various speeds. So you can download the plugin for free off of Spigot, which is great. So you can have a mess about with it yourself, see what you can create, hopefully something better than this. And uh, if you guys want to have a play on a really awesome towny server, I will put a link in the description. Uh, I've had a go on it, it's super fun, and it has a lot of really cool plugins, some of which I will be covering on here that I haven't heard of before. So uh, yeah, check that out guys, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll be back hopefully tomorrow with another great free plugin, uh, as I'm doing a lot more free plugins now than premium ones. So uh, look forward to that, and I'll see you tomorrow.